Nice shorts. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Classic. April 25th. Is 20, it April 25th? Yeah, 2019. This is a video for our future child. <gasps> We're pregnant. With you. Okay, let's do it again. So, oh, Cohen, we gave birth to Will one week after his due date, which was December 6th. Our doctor told us not to wait longer than one week because it was dangerous. And so we scheduled our induction and uh, that morning, you start going to labor. It's got time. Next time we come back, we're my baby. <laughs> Unless they're like, you're not far along in labor, just go back home. Do you think they'll say that? Yeah, we'll see what happens, I guess. Okay, let's go. I I don't know where to put my arm. They said when I have to go pee, I have to take those two bags with me. Not the whole thing. Mm. The whole thing. The whole, not the whole thing. Oh. Just the two bags. And then I hook it again on like something outside because this thing can't go. Like... And then how soon did contractions happen? Probably, like, almost immediately. I don't really know time-wise, but, like, by the time they hooked me up and there was, like, oxytocin going into my system, a few minutes later, like, contractions started getting pretty intense. And I was like, oh, this is doable. Like, this is so bad. I guess this is what it feels like. It's going down. Oh, it's And then after your water broke, that's when contractions, I feel like, started getting really painful. Yeah, or just, Unbearable. they started getting, like, faster and, like, closer together and more intense. <sighs> it's just a little bit of <sighs> So from 7.30 about until 9 30 i guess mm -hmm. that was like two hours of really bad like the worst contractions it and just started getting like worse and worse over time and at first it was just like i can like bear through this i'm just gonna like shut everything out and ignore it and just like i'm gonna get through this <laughs> until it started getting like oh. <sighs> okay it's just about over the place. <sighs> Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so bad. But it's just you went over the pain. Uh, I was just like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I want to do it. And then, so basically then around 9.30, so they wouldn't give Cohen an epidural until she had gone four to five centimeters dilated because that's when you're in active, active labor. labor. Yeah. So we had to wait until 9.30, 10, I think, where you, until you could get an epidural. Yeah, and then they gave me an epidural. And like five minutes later, I was like texting people being like, I'm great. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. it's, we're still in labor. Like, that was a really big one. Oh, it's just like, it's like a Did you get any footage of like before the epidural? When you were in pain? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I was dying. <laughs> yeah, so then you just had contractions until around two it's yeah like four more hours yeah where it's like you can still feel the contractions or you feel like the pressure of it happening but not the pain of it anymore which is pretty weird yeah picture 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 and video and video well we're basically in this room until baby gets born or baby's gonna be born in this room crazy and number two this is where he will see life for the first time it's 
and then my epidural started to run out. Well, at first it was terrifying because I was like, my epidural right now and it hurt so bad. And all the nurses left and it was just me and Justin in the room. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, is Justin delivering my baby? <laughs> I was cleaning my hands, putting on gloves, looking for scissors. And like, um, but yeah, I guess I like, it just started hurting so bad again. So I was like, ah, and then the nurse came and she's like, stop spending your energy on like making noises. Making noises. She's just like, you have to like hold it push. in to like push. But then she just told us to push every time. Yeah, so every time, instead of, like, moaning or, like, yelling because of the pain, she was just, like, just hold your breath and, like, push. And push felt like pooping. Yeah, they were, like, they were, like, you had to push. So at first, I was just, like, I kind of felt like I was just, like, um, flexing. flexing, like, squeezing my abs. But then they're just, like, no, like, you legit have to, like, push as if you're going to, like, poop. <laughs> So, so funny, yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. No, so like eventually, I guess like the nurses come back into the room and they're the people that are like helping with stuff. And like there's a lot of like fingers going in your like private parts down there, like making sure like they can feel the head and yeah, like, making sure you're like dilated around. and stuff. I don't know how many men are actually in the delivery room when women give birth in Korea, but anytime something was happening where they had to like lift the blanket or like check on things down there like to oh, check yeah, how much I was dilated that. they always made Justin like turn around and face the wall yeah and so like right before I gave birth or like when I had to start pushing they still had the blanket on me and I was like getting so hot so I was like can I take the blanket off and they're like is that okay for your husband and I was like yeah it's fine but they were like legit like on top of me and like using a towel to like try to like push the baby to like the direction yeah. of the like wherever the birth canal was and so they're like using, like, their whole weight of their body just, like, pushing it was crazy. on, like, the baby to, like, c course correct. It was, like, so animalistic, I feel like. It was yeah. Just, like... Yep. But I, I guess it's fine. Again, I was just, like, I don't know what I would have done if it was just me. <laughs> Delivering the baby. It's, like, push. <laughs> push. It was fate. Just a fate. I die. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was the worst. But then at the end, basically, the doctor came in the last five minutes. Yeah. Coin did her final push, they were like, push, and then it shot out. Nurses. I guess they caught the baby. It felt like it popped out. Bell yeah. cord. <laughs> they cut the cord. They they took the baby immediately over to this little basin and started wiping it down, and they took me over there. Mm -hmm. I guess to distract me from me doing nothing the whole time. <laughs> and... <laughs> They like, uh, they had the baby in this thing and they're like, you can take pictures. So I got my camera out and I started filming the baby just like, Ah! <laughs> 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 And then they stitched you up, they cleaned you up. Yeah. And then they brought me back over to Cohen with the baby, and Cohen held him. <laughs> oh, did you leave the room at some point? After you held him. Oh. And then I left the room with him, showed your mom. Hey, buddy. And then they took him to do, like, count his toes. Count his fingers and well, I feel like, I mean, we're going to make a video about the Chori one we went to, but I do feel like it's crazy that you just stay at a hospital for two days. And then I have to go home. And then they, in a lot of, most countries, they just send you home. And I guess most families know, like, okay, have your mom come, or some family where you rent a person to come every day to help you. <laughs> you rent someone. <laughs> you rent someone. Or you get, like, a breast coach. But, a lactation consultant. Yeah. <laughs> lactation. <laughs> breast coach. I don't know any of the terms. <laughs> With your lactation cookies. <laughs> uh, lactation water. But again, like, you have to have money to do all that. A lot of yeah. people don't. A lot of people go straight home and just have to figure it out themselves. And maybe even have to go back to work really soon. It's crazy. So, 
yeah, hats off to everyone who does that. Yeah. Because I can't imagine having going straight back to our uh, apartment right at, two cried, days after. Like, a million times a day. It's already so hard now, yeah. like two weeks later. Yeah. But we'll, we'll talk about that in the next video. Next video, right after the birth, Cohen goes into the room, can't pee, we don't know what to do. <laughs> They brought the baby down, he poops black poop. I don't even know what but it's supposed to be black poop. I tried to change his diaper, his umbilical cords all over the place. I'm like, ah, what's happening? Take him back, please. Put him back in. I swear I'm not gonna be able to do this. Oh, 